I was very blessed to, uh, to find the arts at a very early age, uh, at 14 years old. Uh, the arts opened up the world for me. I got to visit 48 different countries uh, through poetry, dance, and theater. Um, when I came back to the United States, uh, I wanted to do a lot more for my community. Uh, I'm an immigrant kid who came at nine years old to Houston. Uh, I got a chance to go talk at a detention center in Gulfton. And um, I did my thing. I did poetry. I told stories. I entertained them. I made them laugh. And it was great. This kid came up to me at the end of it and he said, I want to learn how to write like you, how to speak like you, and how to dress like you. I was a lot hipper back then. Um, uh, he goes, how can I connect with you? What do you, do you teach this? And I, I was like, oh, I, I don't. I, I don't know anything that teaches it. I don't know anything that teaches it for free. Um, I'm sorry, you know? And then he goes, well, can I have your number so, so we can connect? And I was like, ah, I don't really do that. Yeah. I'm like, but, but good luck with life. High five them and I left. Four years later, I got the same opportunity, go to the same lockdown. This kid's name was Tristan and he was there. Four years later. I did my thing, I entertained the kids, you know, I, I, I did my poetry thing, and I went up to him, I'm like, what are you doing here? Like, mad at him almost, right? What are you doing here? He's like, ah, I'm going to be transferred soon. Uh, I'm in here for assault. Uh, they're going to transfer me to, to a prison. And, and I felt, I, I had a little breakdown because I was like, oh my gosh, if I, if I would have gave you my number, if I, if I would have connected with you, if I would have had a program of, of, you know, that, that could have really helped you, maybe your life would have been a, a whole lot different. From that point on, I started searching for impact. Like, what kind of program can we create that, that, that is truly about impact and consistency? I did a lot of different works, community, community organizer, uh, grant writing, arts and culture specialist. I don't know what that meant, but it sounded cool. Um, and I decided to, I wanted to create a school that focused just on high level arts and, and, and poetry and, and connect these kids with amazing artists. And I called my first mentor, which is Charles Rowe Trammell, and he quickly said, that's dumb. <laughs> Houston is too big, nobody's gonna come to your school. You got to go where the kids are. Connected me with Dr. Matt Russell from St. Paul's Methodist, and we started working in the schools. We started going to the schools that maybe they didn't have an artist program. We decided to follow these kids for a whole year. We decided to keep following them after that. We started uh, with a school at Sharpstown High School with a group of ninth graders that we saw them graduate, each one of them. We decided to not have a home base. We needed to be consistent and we needed to be in detention centers because our students kept disappearing because of the school to prison pipeline. We started a writing program that quickly evolved with our students. Our students suffer from trauma. They live in food deserts. Our students fall under the poverty line and they're victims of family separation. Our students' mental health is our priority. We created classes that we started as a safe space that we now call Brave Spaces. We started listening to their stories. We created a curriculum alongside amazing, 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 and I can't even, I can't even tell you how amazing our teachers are in HISD and Spring Branch ISD. We created curriculums that help students just be able to be heard and they can figure out this work. We work with our principals, communities, and schools. Our teachers become our editors, our drivers, our everything. We are in 12, we are in 12 different schools throughout HISD and Spring Branch ISD. We're in four different lockdown centers from Houston all the way to Galveston. We're in 14 different locations in Galveston. The goal is to work with the school as a whole. We connect with schools and students, and we have events that we call Iconoclast Sessions that feature their poetry and artists that they should know. The aim of Iconoclast is to utilize creative expression supported by practices of social-emotional learning, nurturing positive relationships, self-management, and initiative. The aim is to support resilience. We train teachers and staff finding alternative methods to escalating situations. We provide supportive group sessions with students, and we create creatives because we feel that's the most important thing. We are about impact and community. Father Gregory Boyle, one of our mentors, a priest who's impacting LA gang community, says nothing stops the bullets like community. 
And this is what it's all about. It's connecting a community that needs to connect to itself and that needs to be heard. I want to end with a poem from one of my students. And uh, this poem is from a kid that is in a detention center. We go in there and we stay with them and we inspire. I believe in love. Even though I break my mama's heart, I am capable of love. When the world falls apart, I am capable of love. Even when I feel pain, I am still capable of love. When I get casted out, I'm still capable of love. When I get knocked down, I'm still capable of love. Even though they don't love me, I'm still capable of love. Like everyone else, I'm still capable of love. Every one of our students is an amazing poet or writer, and they're all accountable to each other. We create systems and support, supportive community that supports itself. We connect them to each other, and they grow together.